this was really funny. So, uh, the Kyle and Corn podcast is probably it's like the only podcast that I listen to uh, because it's, it's very entertaining. And uh, they spoke about uh, the nicknames that Kyle has been making. He broke down the beef that ended up happening. I actually, um, I totally, I'm not gonna lie, I totally instigated this this Twitter war between Mike and, and Kyle on Twitter. It was absolutely hilarious. I totally baited them into it. I put up this poll. And then I completely baited them into into fighting over each, you know, fighting. Obviously, it's a joke. They don't, they're not fucking serious. But it was hilarious anyways. Um, over nicknames. And I'm going to show you guys uh, the clip from this where Kyle... Kyle, this is weird because Kyle is basically... He has like a PhD in nicknameology. He's like a professor. Um, he is Professor Kalinsky. Uh, he, he's in, in nicknameology. Like, he's... He's really, you know, he's got this shit down to a science, dog. He's got, he, he's going to explain it, bro. Check this out. Are you really beefing with that guy from the Humanist Report? No, no. We were fucking oh. around. Oh, okay. Uh, no, that was hilarious. We were fucking yeah. around. Yeah, oh, so okay. we were having, for people who don't know what Corn's talking about, um, he, Humanist Report tweeted that, you know, like, oh, Beto O'Rourke, more like Beta O'Dork. He mm -hmm. put that as the nickname. And he said this after I had come up with the glorious nickname, Bet on My Stork. Now, <laughs> see, you're laughing at that one. You didn't laugh at Beta, beta O Dork. You laughed at Bet on My Stork. Now, here's yeah. one. So, but anyway, he tweeted like, oh, be, uh, be, Beta O Dork is better. And, you know, I was like, you're fake news. That shit mm -hmm. is not better. Bet on My Stork is better. And I was joking around like in a Trump voice, like saying how he's the fake news media and he's fucking Ugh. doing, you know, fake nicknames. His name is Mike Figueredo, and I, mm -hmm. I tweeted a nickname for him. I said, Mike Fakeredo. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mike Fakeredo spreading fake news. And, and then there was the, the progressive voice did, uh, you know. I love, I love the progressive voice. Did a poll. I just tweeted like, at him. Beta O'Dork. He's like, which one? Beta O'Dork or, or bet on my stork? And it was, like, it was like 54% I think I had. And then when I tweeted, like, you guys help me go vote for a bet on my stork, it dropped. <laughs> oh, for real? Oh, <laughs> it went so from 54 lose, to 53. I'm going to lose subscribers by telling them to go to Corn's World. It, but anyway, <laughs> that, that shit was kind of hilarious. And um, so anyway, here's why bet on my stork is a better nickname. <laughs> and I implore everybody to, to clip this out and send it um, to Mike and send it to everybody who would disagree with me. Because there actually is legit reasoning why my nicknames are better. So mm -hmm. stop and think about all my nicknames for a second. Who do we got? Amy I watched Progressive Voice's recap video. Yeah, that was good. Oh. Shout out to Progressive Voice. That was a great recap. He he graded. He he gave a an order of who he thinks you know. Did my he best make those little are. graphics? Yeah. No. 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 People had. I asked people to make them, and they made them and tweeted them at me, and I oh. saved them, and then he put them in his video. Oh, Shout out oh, to I everybody who made a graphic because they're fucking genius. Yeah. So they we were. got we got Amy Cloudboot Jar genius. Fucking um, Howard Shits. Howard Shits. <laughs> we got uh, John the Breakfast Cereal Hickenlooper because oh, yeah. Hickenlooper sounds like a breakfast cereal. Um, <laughs> you uh, just like me. Kier what? Kirsten Jello Brand because her name is Jello Brand. It sounds like Jello Brand. That one works. So now here's why Bet on My Stork is better than Beta O Dork. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your nicknames have to be value neutral, so they can't be. They can't, you can't go negative because then people will say it's mean spirited and it's mm -hmm. crass and like why, and it's childish. Why are you doing that? Why beta o dork? Really? You're going to call him a beta male and you're going to call him a dork. So basically you're calling him a loser bitch in the nickname. You, mm -hmm. you can't do that be, you, because then it really does come across as childish. You mm -hmm. have to be value neutral. So think about it. Cloud boot jar. Is that saying anything negative? No, it's just saying. It's cloud? like a cloud, it a cloud boot, and a jar. Boot? Oh, okay. Yeah, her name is Klobuchar, but it sounds like cloud boot jar. <laughs> so there's no there's no value judgment there. So people hear it and they just laugh, like you're laughing right now. Yeah. Bet on my stork is just fucking ridiculous. It's saying bet on a fucking bird? What? And then yeah. we were doing pictures of him as a bird with the fucking <laughs> head. It was hilarious. See, that's why you have to go value neutral. So when yeah. he says beta o dork, people who are not already in our bubble 
are going to be like, damn. Yeah, you can't take a shot at someone. You can't take a shot. Like, you got to eh. – and then – You guys aren't like Trump. Like Trump does it as some negative shit. You're doing it as some just playful shit. Yeah, it's – exactly. And and uh, Progressive Voice was like, yeah, but hold on. Howard shit seems like it's, it's negative. And I was like, nah, it doesn't. Howard shits. It sounds like it's saying like – like Howard shits, like everybody shits. Howard shits, like he's can take. Yeah, a that shit. works. Yeah, like it's not like saying on... he is shit. It's saying no. Howard shits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, could, I could get behind Howard shits. I, it reminds me of um, the Rugrats when they're they, the doctor was Lip Doctor Lip shits. Yep, Lip shits. I remember that. Doctor Lip shits. Yeah, and um, and other ones like like, you know, we we have one for Dave Rubin, the political commentator. We call you should him do Cory Cory Booker T. Oh, that's not bad. We might have to go back to the drawing board for that one because we have um, – people were saying for Cory Booker, they were like, oh, you got to go with like corporate hooker or something. And again, uh-huh. they didn't get the value neutral rule. They hadn't yeah. thought about it. You got to go value neutral. So for yeah, Dave Booker Rubin – is like a staple. For Dave Rubin, we went Rave Dubin because that, works. that worked perfectly. But for Cory Booker, we're going to – I my idea was use the same trick and go Bory Cooker. And actually, to be fair – Somebody tweeted that at me first. I wish I could give him credit. I don't remember who it was. All right, man. I have to say that was a pretty interesting explanation, to say the least. So the explanation Kyle is giving is basically saying, my nickname is better because it's value neutral. What value neutral means is when you hear it, it's not like a demeaning thing on its face. It's like some mumbo jumbo that doesn't make any sense. Like, for example, when you flip the first and last letter uh, in trolling someone, you know, there's nothing really value negative about that because it's just like some random mumbo jumbo that results. So in the, in the example he uses like cloud boot jars, like what the fuck does that mean? Nothing, right? So it's not value negative. Um, and so that's the reasoning he gives against Beto or Dork. Now, I'm not sure where I am on bet on my store versus Beto, uh, you know, Beto or Dork. You guys can let me know in the comment section who's better, Beto, Beto, Beta or Dork or bet on my stork. Bet on my stork is interesting. I find it kind of catchy. But Beta O'Dork, that's a pretty cool one too, dude. I'm not going to lie. But when I hear Beta O'Dork, I don't really think of it as calling him a beta for some reason. It just doesn't really register. The the dork part, that I can tell, obviously, when I think of that. It's like, oh, yeah, he's a dork. But, like, he is a dork, though. And it's like, is dork really that much of a value negative to call someone? You know, calling someone a dork? Um, I don't really find dork to be a very you know pejorative type derogatory term of any way like you say oh like you're a dork it's like oh you know what you don't even really know exactly what the hard line definition of that is anyways so i don't know man i'm split here <laughs> i'm kind of split because i like both names beta or dork as well as ben on my stork and i know you guys are insanely divided because that fucking poll was some dead heat dog originally it was a 10 percent uh difference and then both of them pressured their fans into voting in the poll. And there was like a, a, a flood in of like 2,000 more votes or something. And it went down from 55-45 to now it's, I think, a 6% gap, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I forgot exactly what I think it's 53-47 right now. So it's gone down. A 6% gap is a very small gap in this scenario. And what's really remarkable about it is, is that, you know, Mike was able to take on the big seltzer pack and all of the undue influence that it has on the people. Um, And it's like, you know, it's the Bernie Sanders story. You know what I mean? It's like taking on the establishment, taking on the machine that exists. It's a pretty cool comeback story.